When you buy a 2016 Mazda 6 Touring and open the brochure, a message from the president of Mazda's North American operations greets you on the inside cover. Quote, As a Mazda driver myself, I have to tell you, you haven't bought just any vehicle, James O'Sullivan writes. You've chosen to drive a Mazda, and that means you're part of our family, and we intend to make your experience as fulfilling as possible. End quote. Is driving a Mazda 6 truly fulfilling? Let's find out. On the outside, the Mazda 6 is a very aggressively styled sedan. For a car that isn't technically in the sports sedan category, it wants you to think that it is from its styling. Mazda's chief designer, Akira Tamatani, writes in the brochure, quote, Simply looking at the car heightens expectations about the driving experience even before one actually rides in it, end quote. I personally think there's a good chance they've achieved this reaction from its drivers. The curves in the stance of the vehicle, along with dual exhaust tips, angry headlights, and an angular grille evokes a sense that it wants to take on the twisties with you as its dancing partner. While the 2016 Mazda 6 may have the aesthetics of a sports sedan, its performance numbers reveal it to merely be a sporty sedan. Under the hood is a 2.5-liter four-cylinder Skyactiv G engine, making 184 horsepower at 5,700 RPM and 185 foot-pounds of torque at 3,250 RPM. Mated with a six-speed automatic transmission, the Mazda 6's gas mileage was rated at 26 city, 38 highway by the EPA. One reason Mazda achieved this level of efficiency is its curb weight, 3,250 pounds. This is relatively light compared to the rest of the segment. In order to achieve a light curb weight, Mazda did not put copious amounts of sound deadening in the vehicle. This is evident at highway speeds, especially on a concrete or rough surface. Wind noise is also evident, specifically around the side mirrors. My biggest complaint about driving this vehicle is definitely the noise levels. However, any shortcomings in noise refinement are almost entirely erased, in my opinion, by the character of this car on the road. The steering feel stands out in a crowd of more numb implementations of electric power steering. Steering weight is a bit light at parking lot speeds, but above that it increases to communicate that you are, in fact, commanding a 3,000 pound vehicle around the turns. When I test drove this car against a 2015 Honda Accord Sport, the Accord steering weight was unvarying, regardless of the radius of the turn. The Mazda 6 behaves more like a go-kart. As the turn becomes tighter, the steering becomes heavier. For those who still enjoy driving, this is truly a driver's car. The drivetrain is also very responsive to the driver's right foot. The transmission is eager to downshift to give the power the driver demands. Acceleration is adequate. This is not a sports car, and with 184 horsepower, you won't be winning any drag races. Regardless, the slogan, Zoom Zoom, still comes to mind when stepping on the loud pedal. I drive this car in the manual mode, which uses a sequential style shift pattern. While this is a more engaging way to drive with the automatic, there is a significant delay between the movement of the shifter and the transmission changing gears. This delay is probably due to an electronic command to change gears rather than a mechanical one. The best way to describe the suspension in this car is taut, with McPherson struts in the front and a multi-link suspension in the rear. Large bumps don't upset the car, but they aren't absorbed enough to call the ride cushy. The suspension feels like a stretched rubber band, giving just enough to not feel stiff. The Mazda 6 Touring comes with 19-inch wheels and tires, which certainly don't help the ride quality. The disc brakes in this car are very responsive, no complaints there. This specific car is equipped with Goodyear Eagle Exhilarate Ultra High Performance All Season tires. These tires grip extremely well in the dry and the wet and do not emanate considerable road noise probably because the Mazda 6 creates a fair amount itself. Interior quality of the Mazda 6 is quite impressive among the mid-sized sedan class. At first glance, you may think the MSRP is more than its $24,000.
The touring trim comes with abundant leather and leatherette trim with stitching and contrasted with some stainless steel-like plastic. The remaining black plastic is nicely textured. The six-way power front seats are quite supportive and feel like bucket seats, but without overly intrusive bolstering. Thigh support is slightly lacking because the seat cushion angle cannot adjust in the touring trim. There is a manual lumbar support, but the handle is wedged in an awkward spot between the seat and the B-pillar. The rear seats are quite comfortable with ample legroom and headroom for average-sized individuals. I am six foot one with a tall abdomen. My hair brushes the ceiling, depending on my posture. With flip-out cup holders from the middle seat back, cup holders in the doors, and rear air vents, the rear seats aren't a bad place to be. Thigh support is a bit lacking, though. The rear blind spot is minimal. With correctly set mirrors, this is a non-factor. This 2016 Mazda 6 Touring is also rich with convenience features and high-tech. The Touring trim comes with dual-zone automatic climate control, power windows, cruise control, Bluetooth connectivity, rear-view camera, keyless entry, push-button start, illuminated vanity mirrors, manual tilt and telescope steering wheel, two power outlets, a sunglasses holder, a large center console with two USB ports, and blind spot monitoring with rear cross-traffic alert. The infotainment system is a 7-inch touchscreen operated through a center control knob. The knob is surrounded with shortcut buttons to the various menus, settings to adjust various controls and features in the car, navigation in which the touring only displays a compass, coordinates, and elevation, communication where you can view Bluetooth phone calls, text messages, and reply via voice command, Entertainment, where you can listen to various audio sources including AM, FM, and HD radio, Bluetooth, Pandora, and USB sourced media. And applications, where you can view and adjust maintenance schedules, view your gas mileage in detail, see HD traffic information in your area, or any warnings the car gives you. The system is laid out well, but tuning the radio, for example, requires several steps. The Mazda 6 is also a practical package. The trunk door is surprisingly light. The trunk opening is quite generous, and inside is 14.8 cubic feet of cargo space. This is on the less capacious end of the category, but several suitcases can still fit, especially with the 60-40 split folding rear seats down. The trunk hinges are nicely hidden inside a tunnel so they don't impede on your cargo, and underneath the trunk floor is a spare tire. Overall, the 2016 Mazda 6 is a very well-rounded package. It doesn't have the most comfortable, quietest ride, or the largest trunk, but it makes up for it with impressive exterior styling, surprisingly classy interior trim, and the best driving dynamics in the mid-size sedan class. If you're in the market for a sporty sedan and drive with the spirit of Zoom Zoom, take a look at the Mazda 6.